So Kelsey, we've seen things shift a little bit in our marketplace, but it's not quite the doomsday scenario that you're seeing in the media. I think Tampa was just voted the number one city in Florida to move to uh, by Forbes. If, if someone's looking to sell a home in the area now, what, what type of advice would you give them? Hey guys, I'm Mark Fazzini from the Fazzini Group. And I'm Kelsey Ward. And we make these videos to help you make better buying and selling decisions in the Tampa Bay area. So today we wanna to talk about selling a home in the uh, Tampa Bay market. So Kelsey, we've seen things shift a little bit in our marketplace. Uh, there's more listings on the market, you know, homes are taking a little bit longer to sell, but it's not quite the doomsday scenario that you're seeing in the media. Um, things are still selling. We still have a lot of people moving to the area. I think Tampa was just voted the number one city in Florida to move to uh, by Forbes. It has been voted that for many years, so we're still getting a lot of calls, people moving here. Uh, there's still demand. It's just getting a little bit more like uh, we saw the market back in 2018, 2019, before we had that craze of, you know, the after COVID. So um, if, if someone's looking to sell a home in the area now, what, what type of advice would you give them? Yeah, so the first thing I always recommend is to reach out to an agent who can help you through the entire process. And we're going to start by taking a market analysis of your home and, you know, really getting a feel for the pricing. And in years past, like you mentioned, when the market was so crazy, a lot of people were shooting for the stars and they wanted to get the absolute most that they could for their home. Um, now the market's shifted a little bit. You know, I work with a lot of buyers as well and affordability is at top of mind. So we want to keep that in mind when we come come to market with pricing. So I would say that's probably like the number one most important to thing is to price appropriately. Price yeah, yeah sure. Absolutely. And then what are other things that um, sellers should be thinking about when, when they're listing a property? Yeah, so uh, like I said, affordability is really important. So that's number one. But number two is buyers are looking for a move-in ready home. They want turnkey. So if they're paying you know, top dollar for a home, they don't wanna have to come in and do a ton of renovations or updates to make that house their home you know they're gonna do some things already but they don't want to have to go above and beyond so if you as a seller can position your home to be ready for the market not only price wise but condition wise as well so if that's going to be you know cleaning decluttering um, yard maintenance uh, anything like that that's going to bring the home you know up to standard for the market okay so great so what are some of the top improvements that sellers can make or what are some of the things you've seen you know add to the success of selling homes? yeah so like i said decluttering can go a long way but you want to consider things like painting grout cleaning even exterior work like pressure washing i worked with a seller recently who there was a little bit of wood rot you know around some of the door frames so we had all that wood rot repaired yeah. um you know you don't want to run into any surprises as a seller um and definitely you don't want that for your buyer as well you want the transaction to go as smooth as possible so if there's any things that you can repair for example like I said that wood rot um, there was some stucco work that we had repaired just so you know that you're not walking into any any problems you know through the transaction okay now a hot topic right now is with the NAR Commission lawsuits and sellers out there and there's been some changes right so I have a lot of sellers that talk to me and they say well hey I heard I don't have to pay a buyer's agent a commission anymore is that true or what does that look like? Well, the bottom line is it's always been true, right? Commission's always been negotiable. You've never had to pay anything. However, you know, history tells us that it's been beneficial to do so. Right. And what we're still seeing in the market now is that, you know, buyers and buyer's agents are going to want to negotiate that um, into the contract. So it's beneficial. You know, we recommend it for our sellers as well. Yeah, so it's no longer being advertised on the MLS but I think the majority of the uh, buyers out there, or buyers agents are trying to add the commission into the contract. Right. And you know, I think at the end of the day, it, if the buyer is gonna to have to pay their agent to compensate them, they're gonna probably be willing to pay less on the house purchase. Yes. So it sort of nets out in the end. So right. it could be beneficial to incentivize buyers agents to show the property by offering that commission. <laughs> Certain uh, circumstances, if you, if you don't wanna do that, it's all negotiable. Correct. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, you know, working with um, buyers and sellers, and I do see affordability being a big issue for buyers. Um, that's a great incentive to bring more people into your home and into your listing and, and get more people in the door. Now, some people would argue that real estate is a safer investment in those times, and, and we see that a bit too. There's always that end of the year rush to, to get things done, like 1031s for taxes. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know that it's 
So right now is not not a bad time to to list a property ahead of the elections. If the economy was weak or going into next year, you could still get top dollar currently in this environment, but it could be a little bit slower. We might see the economy improve in January, and it would be a better time to list, uh, but, but nobody has a crystal ball. The one big thing that plays into this is also interest rates, right? So the the Fed has already said they're going to reduce the interest rates in September. That's been priced into our market. We've seen a little downtick uh, in in current interest rates, which is good. And depending on data that comes out actually in September, we might see interest rates go down even more, which would be great because that would give buyers more affordability and help our our sellers get home sold. But it is a different time right now. I think the, the bottom line is, Depending on your situation, it could be better to wait or it could be better to list now, but you just have to be a little bit more patient um, and expect that, you know, it could take a little bit longer to sell your property in this current environment. Right. And I think it then goes back to those conditions that we talked about previously, you know, pricing should be on point. The condition of the home should be ready to go. You should have an agent on your side, you know, ready to guide you through the entire process. Okay, so we're talking about the market, you know, shifting a little bit. It's still strong, but now more than ever, you need to hire a, a great real estate agent to help get your home sold. So if someone's out there and they want to know what to look for in a real estate agent that are hired to help sell their home, mm-hmm. what's it, some advice you would give them in, in selecting? Yeah, I would say number one is experience. And our team has been in the area for so many years and we have so many different agents who specialize in different areas and you know type of, type of home. So having the experience and resources that you can tap into on a regular basis for any type of buyer or seller need uh, makes, makes all the difference. We also have a expansive marketing budget. So we're able to devote more money and effort to marketing your home in a month than some agents are for an entire year of their business. And so we, we tap into other resources just besides, you know, listing your home on the MLS, putting a sign in the yard and praying for the best. Um, we invest in YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the major social media channels um, to expose your home to a wide variety of people. You know, especially in the Tampa Bay area, there's still so many people moving here from across the country. So with our marketing budget, we're able to expose your home nationally to people. I mean, even globally, you know, if yeah. we're with our YouTube channel um, and get a lot of exposure and drive a lot of traffic that way. With experience comes, you know, a lot of knowledge and education and ways that we can negotiate the best terms for you in the sale of your home. So whether that is a lease back for you to stay there while you relocate, you know, to a new home um, or any just, you know, terms or clauses that are going to protect you as the seller um, throughout the transaction. It really makes a big difference, um, you know, because you might sell a home every seven years, but we might sell a home, you know, every seven days. You know, we we do this pretty frequently, so we know what to anticipate, what to look out for um, and to keep your best interest at mind throughout the entire transaction. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, you probably are looking to buy or sell a property in the Tampa Bay area. Our team has helped over 3,000 clients buy and sell an area over the last 30 years, and we'd love to help you. Reach out at the number or email below, and someone from our team will be in touch ASAP.